Hey guys, welcome back. As you guys know, the ones that subscribed to me that I had the T4i Rebel, but I returned it for the T3 for several reasons mainly. But first, let me let you guys know I'm not a professional and I just got into photography about a year ago, but I'm learning and most of the stuff I learned, I learned from YouTube. So I thank you guys for posting videos and my voice may sound a little slur I might get a little stagnated because I have a toothache as you can see this my medication I got an infected tooth infected gums and infected lower jawbone my bone infused around my tooth and they have to chip away my bone to remove the tooth so wish me luck on that but anyway yeah I got rid of the T4i because you know one reason is I already got the 7d and I already got the 60d so it really wasn't you know any need for that camera and only thing it has that the other ones don't have is the the uh, auto focus and video mode which if you shoot video who shoots in auto mode anyway I mean it's too slow and it's not accurate what well, that's what I I had when I had the T4i, it, was, it, it wasn't cutting it. But it, with the advantage that it did have over these three cameras is that Digic 5 processor. Oh man, it was great for um, low light. I can shoot video or photos at ISO 3200 with just about no noise whatsoever. But that was the only advantage, so I returned it. You know, it wasn't worth tax, it was over a thousand dollars. So this T3, I just opened it up, but I, I have used one before, so I, I got a feeling of it. Now, this, this camera is made of, it's a, some kind of plastic, but it's, it's not bad whatsoever. Not like a lot of, you know, people say, well, it's a plastic camera. Well, my 60D is plastic, too, with a rubber grip, but it's not bad whatsoever. And, of course, you know, the 7D is magnesium alloy, and it's just it's a huge camera, and... I love it but uh yeah this t3 I mean I don't have any complaints about this camera you know people complain well it only 12.2 megapixel so what's so what I mean Nikon has four uh, four frame cameras that's 12 megapixel and they are some of the best photos I ever seen so the megapixel doesn't make much of a difference you know it's all about do you know how to take pictures and the um the video mode well people say well it only shoots 720p well unless you are expert most people cannot tell the difference between 1080p and 720p and as a matter of fact tomorrow I'm gonna post video probably using my 7d with the 85 millimeter 1.2 lens and my t3 and I'm gonna shoot video and I want to see if you guys can tell the difference. Now, I don't know how to do side-by-side -side split screen. So, it might not be perfect. But I'm going to see if you guys can tell the difference. So, if you went into the market of getting a, a, a new camera, don't, don't let them things discourage you. This is a great camera. Now, I don't know all the, the, uh, the specs on this camera. So, let me just read a few out to you. It's ISO from 100 to 6400, and it's the camera startup is one tenth of a second, which is pretty fast. It has a non-tight autofocus. I don't think it have any uh, cross types, and it has 63 uh, metering uh, dual layer zone, and them are the main things, and the picture style and a few more other things. But this is a great camera. You don't have to go try to break the bank to get the T4i, especially if you're just starting. And I'm going to show you guys now. If you're into sports, I truly recommend, I don't recommend this camera. I set these cameras up so I can show you the high speed burst. You know, <laughs> it's kind of funny. Listen to this. That's the T3. Now the 60D. Now on the 70. So if you into sports, 
and uh, and 7D is definitely for you. Well, yeah, God, I'm in a lot of pain right now, so I, I can't go. I was planning on making this video a lot longer because YouTube let me make videos longer than 15 minutes now. But, yeah. Oh, the lens that came with this. Well, let me tell you how I got this camera. I would, when I returned to the T4i, I was just going to keep the uh, two cameras that I have. But I'm going through Best Buy and I see this camera on sale with the, uh, a starter kit. Well, with the lens for $4.79. And a guy told me if you got any old accessories or electronics or something, bring it in. We cut the price down. So I found a little of this, a little of that, an old iPod and stuff. And. I wound up getting this camera for man total cash out of pocket was was around three hundred dollars with the lens. Now the total price was was four seventy nine plus tax, but out of pocket I only spent maybe three hundred, three oh five, something like that. So if you in the market for a camera, I I suggest you go out and grab this T three. You know, you don't, if you want swivel screen and all that stuff, you you know, then go for the T three I. But, you know, if you don't, grab the camera and be happy with it. And this lens, well, this is the Mark II version of the lens. And from what Canon told me, I called them about this lens. They said they have a basically a beefed up autofocus. I mean, excuse me, a, a image stabilizer. So it's supposed to be a little better than the, uh, the Mark I version. But I couldn't tell the difference. That's what they say, and I have to take their word for it. So I never used this lens, not the Mark II version. Why? Well, I mean, I used it, but I don't own it until now. So yeah, God, I just wanted to show you that this camera isn't as bad as people think. As a matter of fact, it's not bad at all. If you're just starting off, go for it. Let me let you take a good look at it. not bad at all the viewfinder I mean, it's it's not the greatest but if you knew you won't know the difference anyway I think it's 95 percent uh, through the viewfinder and the 60d is 97 and the 70 is 100 percent but you would expect that for a 15 16 1700 hundred dollar camera Okay, let me let me let y'all hear that again. Great. All right, guys, it's been wonderful, and wish me luck on my surgery next week on my tooth. All right, and God bless you.